Hello, everybody. My name is Tyler Smith. I'm from DeepSig. I'm here at NI Connect. And today we're showcasing our software OmniSig engine. Uh, what we do at DeepSig is we take legacy DSP uh, techniques and introduce uh, radio frequency machine learning into signal identification classification. So what you're seeing here right now is our OmniSig engine. Um, the prior approach uh, to identifying signals in, in the spectrum would be to, you know, go through the process of either building a decoder or building a demodulator, uh, getting down into the finer gr uh, uh, nitty gritty of, of the signal and identifying it. Mm, but that process has become time intensive. Uh, with radios, you know, increasing their sample rate, having higher instantaneous bandwidths, uh, it's getting harder for the end user to be able to identify and classify these signals without missing them. So what you see here is us identifying uh, and classifying signals in real time. This is being done by uh, over-the-air captures streaming from this USRP a B210 uh, into a laptop. Uh, our software runs on everything from an x86 up to, you know, your high-end GPUs, H100s. Um, you have here uh, kind of like a middle tier showing our small uh, form factor. Uh, with a NVIDIA Jetson and a, a B200 Mini. Um, and so what comes with OmniSig? Uh, out of the box, OmniSig comes with a default model. It hosts about 14 signals. It's going to carry your LTE, GSM, uh, CDMA, UMTS, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, most of your commercial uh, signals. We also have uh, what's called Model Hub on our website uh, that has uh, four other... Uh, what I would say standard models, our UAS model, which is going to include your DJIs, your Mavlink, uh, Herelink, so on and so forth, um, a LoRa model for IoT, and uh, a digital LMR uh, model that actually breaks down the signals into P25, DMR, Tetra, NXTA, and so on and so forth. But OmniSig Engine is not just limited to one singular model. The approach that DeepSig has taken is that we want to provide the end user uh, without having to be an electrical engineer, without having to have a lot of background in the uh, RF space, without having to, to know how to C code, the ability to create their own models. So not on display, we have another software called Studio, which simply allows the user to take unknown signals captured and recorded in, in, in real time and import those into Studio, and then it's as simple as boxing and then labeling and then cl clicking train. Within four to 48 hours, you have a detector that historically could take you anywhere between, you know, months to, to a year in time to build a, a, a solution for. Her. We've turned that around and made it a rapid solution that the end user can solve while they're experiencing the problem. Uh, Deep Sig's been around since 2017. Uh, we are, you know, heavily involved in the commercial space with NTIA. Uh, we have other, you know, solutions that, uh, uh, you know, are more geared toward uh, moving into 6G. Uh, if you would like to find out more about uh, uh, DeepSig, please visit us at our website, uh, deepsig.ai. Uh, you can find our information on uh, pamphlets if you're here at the show. Uh, and please feel free to come talk to me anytime.